I, I remember that when I first started yoga, I wanted to do a headstand. I wanted to do that. I, yeah. That's all I wanted to do so yeah. I could show off. Yep. And I, I got there about a year ago and nothing happened. <laughs> no one looked at me. You didn't take a photo? I didn't you didn't even, say, I'm going to didn't even headstand. take a photo. So, <laughs> so, and it's, that's when you realise it's just your practice. Yes. It's to do with you. I used to think of yoga as exercise. I used to think right. of it, that all, all I'm doing it for is to get some exercise. Okay. And then I, about two and a half years ago, I did a class and it, was, it, was, it wasn't as exercise driven. It was more like yin. So a lot of stretching Perfect. and I came out of the class and all of a sudden, these poor shoulders and legs, they've not been stretched for like 30 <laughs> years, felt different. And I loved the piece of the class we did. She did a, a big meditation at the end. And again, I hadn't really meditated before at that point. So I, I discovered the peace yeah. within yoga. And, and, and then as I went more often, I really started to guard the hour of practice because it, was, it started becoming really important to me. Yeah. Um, so I think- That's for, amazing. You know, to, if someone would have told me that, five years ago mm. I'd have enjoyed it a lot more but it, I find it's a great escape I I can't I don't think I've ever done a yoga class and not had an amazing day afterwards yeah I, I love it when I do it so morning practice morning practice I yes. love morning practice so do I I just think it's a really good way to start your day the key thing when you're practicing in the morning um, is that you have to acknowledge that you're going to be obviously a little bit stiffer so we're going to take a bit of time First and foremost, the most important thing with yoga is the breath, okay? So we wanna get into the breath. And in yoga, we wanna encourage long inhalations and even longer exhalations. The reason is, and I'm gonna get geeky again, is that the exhalation stimulates what's called your parasympathetic nervous system. And that is fancy word for the nervous system that's in charge of rest, digestion, repair, and relaxation. So, your exhale needs to be longer because that's what we want to sort of stimulate, okay? So, all we're gonna do at the beginning is breathe. I'm gonna get you to place your palms together, lift your chest up to meet your thumbs so we get this sort of nice opening through the chest. Close your eyes and then crack your eyes open again. And then this time when you close your eyes, I want you to feel that sense of sort of coming into the body so we're becoming a little bit more aware of those internal sensations, okay? And we're gonna take a deep breath in. And when you get to the top of the breath, just hold it in for me. So feel that fullness and that lightness that comes at the top of the breath. And then I want you to open your mouth, exhale. Let the breath release. Notice how it affects your body physically. So feeling the shoulders relax, the belly pull in. Let's go again, inhale, take the breath all the way in. When you get to the top, hold it in. That's it, keep that fullness. In fact, take an extra sip of breath in, stretch that lung capacity. Good, and then open the mouth, exhale. Feel the shoulders relax, the neck relax, but feel your belly pull in. So we're using that diaphragm to breathe one more time. Inhale, take the breath all the way in. Hold it. And then exhale, relax. Perfect, so I want you to keep your eyes closed for me, but just notice the sensations at the base of the feet and just start to rock back and forth. So we're becoming aware of our feet. We wear shoes all day, most of the time. And it's really important to connect to these delicate muscles in our feet because they actually affect the way in which we move throughout the day, obviously. So the way you use your feet will determine the rest of your muscles yeah, and how they activate as well. So we want to make sure we're evenly pressing into the feet. So once you've rocked back and forth a little, just find the center. And then from there, I want you to lift your kneecaps. So you're going to squeeze your quads. Yep, the muscles at the front of the thighs. Perfect. And you're going to squeeze your glutes. Glutes are really important for protecting the knees and the back. You're going to draw your belly in, tuck your tailbone, Keep your chest lifted, the shoulders stay nice and relaxed. The chin is gonna be tucked in slightly, so the back of the neck is long. You're gonna feel like you're lengthening up through the crown of your head. Perfect, so we're standing in this, with this beautiful posture where our, the weight of our body is sort of more in harmony with gravity, so then we get less injuries. Okay, 
This is called Tadasana Mountain Pose. So what I'd like you to do now, you can crack your eyes open. You're gonna inhale, take the arms up above your head. Lift up as high as you possibly can. Perfect, and can you cross your thumbs for me? Perfect. You're gonna squeeze the arms into the ears and we're gonna lean over to the right side. Perfect. You wanna keep your body in nice alignment here and push your hips over to the left ever so slightly. So from the front, we look like this. And then we're gonna come back to center, belly pulls in, and then we'll go the other way. So we're stretching that side body and this is really can be neglected quite a bit. Yeah, but we wanna keep the weight in the feet. Good, bring that weight over a little bit more. Good, come back up to center. Perfect, okay. And then bring your hands back down to your heart. So take the arms down by your side, let's go again. Inhale, arms reach up. And we'll go over to the right. This time go a little bit further. Come back to center. Go all the way over to the left. Come back to center. And then bring the hands down to the heart. How do you feel now? I already feel a million times better. Okay, let's open up the feet so they're hip distance apart. You're gonna take the hands behind you, interlace the fingers and lift up through the chest here. Okay, so we get that chest stretch. And then bend at your knees, exhale, drop the body down. Really bend your knees here quite a bit, yeah? And then drop the head. Okay, here's where we get to see Gary's tight shoulders. Okay, they're not too bad though. Bring your body weight a little bit further forward. Good, and then just start to let those, the pinky fingers, you want them to eventually, maybe in a couple of sessions, touch the floor in front of your head. <laughs> <laughs> but what we wanna do is keep the weight forward into the feet. Good, release your arms down now, let them go. Yeah, let's just let them be heavy. Shake out your head, yes and no. Good, and so we wanna keep that weight at the front so we decompress the lower back. So we get lower back problems, we wanna decompress that part of the spine. Exactly, read my mind. Take hold of either elbows. And really start to swing from side to side here. All right, release the arms down. From here, you're gonna place your hands onto your shins. You're gonna straighten your arms and lengthen forward. Yeah, so I want your knees to stay bent, but you're just gonna straighten your arms. And what I want you to feel like is that your hips are moving backwards and your heart's lengthening forward. So we inhale here. And then exhale, bend the knees again. Grab hold of the back of the legs and stretch. Good, relax the back of the shoulders. Good, tuck the chin in. Inhale, halfway lift, stretch. So we look forward, lengthen. Exhale, grab the back of the legs, hug in and stretch. Don't worry about how far down you can grab the legs. Just move to your own body. Inhale, halfway lift again. And then exhale, hug in and stretch. Good, fingertips to the floor. You're gonna just toe heel the feet back together and we're gonna unroll all the way up to standing. Come back up, perfect. Lift your arms up, inhale, and then exhale. We're gonna go straight back down, release all the way down. Good, take the hands to the floor, fingertips down. You're gonna step that left leg back into a lunge. Good. Okay, sink through the hip and open up through the chest here as much as you can. So we're in a bit of a runner's lunge. Good, where do you feel that stretch? Okay, through the back of the front leg. Some people might also feel it at the, back, at the front of your back leg, okay? So really sink those hips. Good, from there I want you to just shift that weight back to the front leg, step back in two, our forward fold. Hands onto the shins, inhale, halfway lift here. Exhale, grab the back of the legs and stretch. Each time as you get a little bit warmer, just going that little bit further into the stretch. Hands come back down to the floor, you're gonna step the right leg back. Okay, so we're back in that lunge, sink through the hip, open up through the chest, big inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, It's easy releasing. to forget that breath, isn't it? It's so easy to forget, but it really controls so much. Okay, so from here, you're actually gonna step back and come into child's pose. Feet are gonna be together, knees are gonna go out wide. And we're gonna push our hips to our heels, take the arms forward and then drop the head right down. Good. So we wanna make sure that we keep the shoulders relaxed. Really press those hips back. If your feet start to cramp, just tuck the toes, let them stop cramping and then come back into it when you can. This is really great for lower back issues, stretching into the hips. Take a deep breath in, release a full breath out. Perfect. Okay, good. So we're gonna pull forward into an all fours position onto the hands and knees. 
Okay, just move the knees so that they're hip distance apart, hands are shoulder distance. Grip into the fingers, don't just dump all of that weight into the wrist because wrist, wrist pain is common in yoga, yeah? Okay, drop the belly down, lift up through the head and the hips. So we're gonna open up through the chest. And then I want you to pull the belly button in towards the spine, push the floor away, drop the head down. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the head and the hips. And then exhale, belly to the spine, push the floor away. Just a couple more times, do that again for me. So inhale, really opening up through the chest. And then exhale, pulling the belly button in, rounding. Good, let's go one more time. Inhale, so stretching through the front. And then exhale, round the spine, stretching through the back of the shoulders. So stay here for a second. So really pushing, stretching through the back of the shoulders and then just come back to a neutral spine. You're gonna tuck your toes and we're gonna lift the knees off. We're gonna go into downward facing dog, okay? Now, this is a tricky one. So down dog is a really common yoga posture, but what I commonly see, and Gary, you're really flexible here, but what I'd like you to do is really straighten the legs as much mm -hmm. as possible and let your spine round. So maybe do down dog that you used to do when you first started. How did it feel? Mm. Right, right, you knew you had it. It's like kind of there. Yep. And that happens because the hamstrings, the back of the legs are super tight. So what I want you to do is bend your knees. Yep, now try and press the chest back, okay? And then relaxing through the back of the neck. So this is the sort of downward dog shape that we want. Straight spine. It doesn't mean your, your legs don't have to be completely straight, okay? Then what we're gonna do is just work on straightening the right leg. Push the right heel to the floor, good? And then do the same for the other side. And then do the same for the other side, and then the same for the other side. Good. This is called walking the dog. Perfect. We're going to come into a push-up position. So inhale, come forward, high push-up. Belly in. Okay, hold this nice and strong. If you feel like this is too intense on your arms, drop the knees to the floor. From here, we're going to lower down, bringing our chest to the floor first. Beautiful. Roll the shoulders back, lift into what's called cobra. Hands come off. You're going to activate those really healthy postural muscles that keep us upright. And then hands come back down, bend your knees. We're going to tuck the toes and press back into downward facing dog. Good. Can we do that again? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Inhale, high push up. Exhale, lower it down. Either the knees come down or the whole body. Good. And then inhale, cobra. Hands come off. Yeah, just to warm up those back muscles. And then press back, downward facing. Bend your knees, look forward, walk the feet up to the hands. If you're super tight in the hamstrings, you might find that a little tricky. Hands to the shins, inhale, halfway lift, look forward and lengthen. Grab the back of the legs, exhale, stretch. Come all the way up to standing, arms reach up, arms out to the side, palms together. Exhale, hands come back to the heart. Now we're going to do that vinyasa sequence just one more through mm -hmm. okay but we're going to flow a little bit more with the breath and then that's it mm -hmm. okay so release the arms down inhale arms reach up exhale take it down bend the knees release forward hands onto the shins inhale halfway lift look forward plant the palms and step back into a push-up position keep your core nice and tight belly in lower down as you exhale maybe challenge yourself keep the knees off good inhale cobra Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. We're gonna take a deep breath in here. Release a full breath out. Keep the ribs pulled in, keep the head relaxed, the shoulders relaxed. One more breath in, full breath out. Bend your knees, look forward. You're gonna walk the feet up to the hands. Halfway lift, hands come onto the shins, look forward and lengthen. And then exhale, grab the back of the legs, hug in and stretch. Take it all the way up to standing, arms reach up, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, stay standing and bring the hands back to the heart. Relax the shoulders, belly pulls in. Beautiful. Well done. And good morning, world. Good morning, world. I'm here. Bring it. Ready for anything. Oh, it's just so beautiful. I Isn't love it? it. I it's absolutely love it. And I'm not very good at it, but I don't care just feels great. But it's not about that, exactly. Great. It's about how it feels in your body, but you yeah. are good at it. And actually, I always say this, and I say this to all levels when I'm teaching, is that what makes an advanced yogi is not actually 
the level of posture that they're doing, it's actually the quality of their breath. Mm -hmm. Because you can do a handstand and still be an asshole. <laughs> right? Or both. <laughs> or both, right? <laughs> exactly. 